Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Doing a video a little bit later today. Had a bit of a busy morning. I actually just signed up for a course last week. So I, it's like a, um, a career um, skill searching program essentially. Gonna find out what my strengths and weaknesses are with my disabilities and my lifestyle and uh, work from there. See what kind of stuff we can maybe get lined up for my future. So that's really exciting. They've even provided a whole bunch of um, tools and um, supplies and a uh, whole bunch of resources. And I'm uh, going to start on Monday, Monday morning. So I'm going to start a course. Pretty excited about that. So we're actually just heading home from that little meeting, just a little orientation introduction meeting. And um, I haven't done a video yet today. I purposely brought all of my stuff with me today and uh, it's a beautiful day. We're at MacArthur Park uh, on the North Shore of Kamloops. This is actually uh, like a sports dream here. There's a huge wonderful skate park. There's tons of soccer fields. Um, I believe there's a golf course. I believe there's a frisbee golf course as well. Um, a whole bunch of things that I don't even know about. Baseball diamonds. Um, I believe there's a lawn bowling club or there was at one point anyway. Um, unbelievable little, not little, it's huge actually this park. Actually maybe I'll show you the park before we get going. There's not too much to see here, it's just fields, but this is just a big parking lot. Um, I believe this is a curling arena and hockey arena, and this is just part of the parking lot for that. Big parking lot, they got some sort of a, I forget what you call that, a bucket thing. Man lift, some sort of a man lift, not a scissor lift, but yeah, you can see all the soccer fields in the background there, a couple soccer nets, actually quite a few soccer nets. And then back over here, just the, the steps up to the building. We were actually gonna film here before, but uh, I don't know if I told you about it, maybe on a later video, but I set up here, I brought my camera, and I think I forgot the memory card. I think that was the first time I ever forgot a memory card. Now I always keep a spare memory card on me, just in case. There's a spare empty card in the camera bag, always. So anyways, enough with the introduction. Uh, Maggie's over there in the shade. She's just, just out of view, of course, being a little shy today. We're gonna review another sauce from Jay's Hot Sauces down in Vancouver, BC. This one is a limited reserve, so I don't even know if you can still buy this one. This is a special reserve bacon bourbon limited. Thai chili vinegar, bacon, bourbon, red bell pepper, onion, garlic, ginger, balsamic vinegar double fermentation. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what that means. It's been fermented twice. I don't know what that means, but it sure sounds fancy. I like the little little piggy face there. It's got the chilies and the, the piggy face because it's got bacon in it. That's so cool. I'm so stoked to try a bacon hot sauce. It's got the signature Jay's red shrink wrap and red cap which I dig. I'll be honest, I save, when the, when the hot sauce bottles are empty, I save the red caps, because we refill them at home. We fill them back up with our homemade sauces. Now we got some red caps for the hotter ones, maybe. Gonna be using my Heat My Shorts official buck pocket knife, courtesy of my buddy Jesse. Thanks again, buddy. You're gonna get a few thank yous on these videos. I hope you're okay with that. If you get tired of hearing it, just let me know and I'll back off a little bit, but I'm super stoked. This is a beautiful knife and a very wonderful, generous gift. Thank you. And same with this. Like, honestly, this channel is, like, mostly sponsored these days. Like, people are sending me gifts to review. I don't have to buy much at all for products to review anymore. Like, once in a while, if I see something I really want, then I'll save up my money and get it. But other than that, I'm uh, getting a lot of a lot of love from all of you. And uh, even aside from the, the product, gifts, comments, likes, not very many dislikes, which is so surprising because there's, there's things that I dislike about my own videos for sure. Um, but I guess I'm kind of a little bit more critical of my own work than other people might be. So, let's have a look at this. Show you the color and consistency there. It's got a really nice, reddish orange color to it. Lots of little flakes of bits, probably the, the onion and the garlic and the ginger and the peppers even. Probably little pieces of bacon in there. Um, that's probably about all we're seeing for the bits in there. It looks quite finely pureed, so not 
Not a lot of big pieces in there, but lots of little pieces. I also really dig the label. I like the Warthog label. I actually purposely wore my full bore shirt with the Warthog on it because of that. You know, I try to, if I can find a shirt that I haven't worn very recently that kind of matches with the product, I'll usually do that. I'm a bit of a bit of a nerd that way and I'm proud of it. So I'm gonna of course leave a link in the description box so that you can contact Jay at Jay's Hot Sauces and uh, possibly order some of this or some of his other great sauces. They're all so good. And the last one we had the the no way and it, it's got a good kick to it. Like some people would be upset by the heat on that sauce. And that makes me happy. I like those kind of sauces, especially if they still have a delicious flavor. So, of course, we don't want to alter that flavor. We're going to be using our Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Mother of Pearl hot sauce tasting spoon. I just want to zip it back up. That's weird. <laughs> it's Mother of Pearl. It will not alter the flavors of your sauces at all. You can get that from johnnyscoville.com or deathnuts.com. Highly recommended. Um, thicker consistency on this. You can see it doesn't move super freely in the bottle, but I expect I won't have much issues pouring it. I'll give you a sniff of that. I haven't even smelled it yet. I'll give you the, the first sniff of it. Well, that smells really good. Definitely getting little, little hints of that. Like I couldn't say it's uh, specifically bourbon, but it's got that nice, like, liquor kind of smell to it. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Like a fancy barbecue sauce, which is kind of essentially, I don't know, sort of what this is, I guess, I don't know. Let's give it a pour. Ooh, there it comes. Look at that texture. You can see all the grains of the delicious looking ingredients in there. Just looks so good. So from Jay's Hot Sauce, this is Special Reserve Bacon Bourbon Limited Hot Sauce. Heat my shorts. Oh wow. It's got a little bit of a kick immediately. Really nice flavor. This would be delicious on poutine. I don't know why, that's the very first thing I thought of as soon as I tasted this. Wow. I'm definitely getting the onion, the garlic, the ginger. Definitely getting that bacon, which is nice. Just a nice, salty, mmm, bacony taste. Someone's blowing a whistle inside. I guess there's something going on inside the Ice Arena is just on the other side of the wall from us here. I love how it stacks up on the spoon. That's good. Mmm. Really great texture. Really great texture. It's it's a little bit thicker, but not too thick. You see, you can see it pours very nice in the bottle. And I hope you're able to pick up all the delicious grainy chunks there. They're little tiny chunks, but they just make it very interesting, just being a sauce even. It gives you something to do when the sauce is in your mouth there. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. Poutine. Hamburgers, hot dogs. Um, definitely put this on pizza. Um, yeah, lasagna dishes. Moussaka, if you're familiar with eggplant moussaka, it's actually one of my favorite dishes. That would be delicious on moussaka. Mm-hmm, this is good. I want to say it's pepper forward. I want to say that's the first thing. It's just pepper flavor. And then the little hints of all the other delicious ingredients in there. 
You definitely get that bacon. Definitely getting that bourbon in there, just a hint of it. Um, the red bell peppers adding a really nice sweetness in there too. Onion, the garlic, the ginger. Me personally, I don't know if I'm picking up the balsamic vinegar. Oh wow, it almost, well there she is. It almost smells like a poutine. Hello Maggie. Maggie came to say hello. I guess we should say hello to the Maggie. Where is she? There she is. Hey Maggie. She was just chilling in the shade over there. Just staying cool. Smart doggy. We're pretty much ready to head home here. There you are. Yeah. So I hope you're all having a great day today. It's been a very productive day. Almost got all the laundry done today. Gotta get home and finish it, but the weather is beautiful. Um, I don't think I talked about a heat rating on that sauce, actually. Um, I'm sweating quite a bit out here. It is actually quite warm, though. Um, let's talk about the heat rating on that sauce. I would say probably a 3 out of 10 on my heat scale. But if you were new to this, that could be up... Yeah, five or a six, maybe could put you to a seven out of ten. I call a seven out of ten when you pass, when you're uncomfortable, when you're straight up, like borderline anxious. And it's hard to talk. Um, your tongue feels like it's swollen. Um, just uncomfortable. Could almost get you to that point if you really did not like spicy things. I would absolutely restock on this sauce. I know it's a limited run. I'm super stoked that we got to, got a hold of a bottle of this. Um, very cool. Thanks again, Jay. Um, I didn't even mention it. Of course I'm using the hot sauce holster. I'm out on the road and using a Jay's hot sauce. I gotta use the holster, right? The other cool thing that I noticed about it, actually, I gotta show you this. My Chase the Heat spoon, boom. Fits perfectly in there, too. Um, if I'm doing a smaller sauce or a bigger sauce that for whatever reason won't fit in there or it's not a sauce at all, I can just put my Chase the Heat spoon in that holster. It's pretty neat, pretty pretty awesome little gadget that he sent me. Thanks again, Jay. Um, I guess that's about all, all for now. Basically wrap the video up here, head home, start to think about dinner. I actually haven't eaten much today, so I should probably get some food in my belly. Hope you all have a great evening. Uh, it's Wednesday tonight. I gotta call my grandma tonight. Wednesday is called grandma night. Every week if I remember. Sometimes I forget. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up, pack up, head home, and uh, gas the truck up on the way home a little bit. It is running low. <laughs> um, thanks for taking the time to hang out with us. Um, oh yeah, Maggie's, Maggie's back in the shade underneath the truck, like a smart doggy. So anyways, just doing a little review by the stairs here today. Hope you enjoyed it. Something different. Take care, everybody. Love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. You know what? Where is she? There she is. I don't know if you can see her on there. She's right by that pole there. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.